Hey audio students, this is Rajiv coming back with another video and this time I want to show you how to import audio files into Pro Tools. Um, so now that you have a basic session set up with a master fader track, you can start importing the audio files that you did for the sound library activity. Um, so let's go ahead and cover this here. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to File, Import, Audio. And then this screen pops up over here. So this screen is the Import Audio screen. Um, and you can go through any kind of audio files you have within your computer and audition them before you actually start to import them. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and look for an audio file that's in uh, one of you know the folders that I have over here. For example, let's just choose uh, something that I have here. Okay, and all right, so looks like I have a guitar recording of uh, the band that I recorded over here or I have some other recordings over here so let's go here and so these are all the audio files that I have now your folder is probably gonna be a little different right because you have different audio files and this is the stuff that you've downloaded from the SFSU box uh, sound library that we had um, so if I wanted to go in here and audition these audio files I certainly can before I start importing them so what I would do here is, um, let's say for example, I want to see what this bass sounds like. What I can do is I can hit play here, right? And I can even scroll through, and this is what the bass instrument sounds like, right? I'm getting some audio here. I can turn up the volume up and down if I wanted to. So that's, that's that one. Um, or I can go to this guitar recording and see what this sounds like. So let's go ahead and hit play. Okay, so that's the guitar recording right there. Um, so the next thing is, if I wanted to take this file and put it into Pro Tools, the first thing that I want to do is hit Convert Files. The reason why it says Convert, because this is a different sample rate. Um, so that might happen, right? The audio file that you downloaded from the SFSU library might be at a different sample rate. And remember, the sample rate that you're using for this specific session is going to be at 48, and the bit depth is at 24. So if you have a different sample rate, it's going to say convert files. Otherwise, it will just say copy files. So let's go ahead and convert this file, and it's going to convert it from an 88.2 to a 48K sample rate. Um, and then once I'm done with that, I can hit done. Now, let's say you wanted to record, or not record, but let's say you wanted to import more than one file. You can certainly do that. If you hit shift, right, it's going to take multiple files, right? Um, if you want to skip one and go to the next one, you can hit control. And right now I'm doing a control click. If I click this and I hold shift and I go to this one, it's going hi to hi highlight all of them. Uh, which is what you may or may not want, right? So let's say I wanted to choose all these guitar tracks right there, right? I can convert all of them, and now they're there. And I'm going to go ahead and hit Done. Okay, and now this is a very important screen here. So remember, in the session folder that has been created for you when you created a session in Pro Tools, there was the audio files folder in there. And what this screen is telling you is saying, hey, look, you're going to import three audio files. Where do you want me to put this audio files? And it's automatically putting it in the audio files folder within your session folder. So you really don't want to do anything at this point. Um, and all you need to do is just hit use current folder right here. If you're using a Mac, this might look a little different, but yeah, it, there's going to be something similar to use current folder. So I'm going to go ahead and click that, and then it's going to process. Uh, this is might take longer because right now what it's doing is sample rate converting. Okay, so that has got, gotten sample rate converted, and it's gone through the processing so you have two options you can allow Pro Tools to create a new track for you which is probably what you want to do or you can import those files into Pro Tools and have it not create a new track but put it in the clip list the clip list you can think about is like your back pocket right you 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 can import audio files into Pro Tools and you could have it pop up over here so if you need them later you can and then once it pops up over here you can click and drag and then it will just create a new track as soon as you drag it into this edit window over here. I'm just going to go ahead and create a new track uh, or tell Pro Tools to create new tracks for me and I'm going to put it at the start of the session right so that's the easiest place and I'm going to go ahead and click OK. 
and uh, there we go. So now we have all of our, um, or it looks like I had more than three here, but this is basically um, how to import audio files into Pro Tools. Uh, hope this helps, and if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Thank you.